Hello honey bunnies, welcome back. It's me Jenny. How is everyone doing today? Okay, my beautiful crafty friends. Today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. We are just going to be doing simple little tiny details on these really fun um, wooden shapes. The fish, the seahorse, the starfish and we're just going to add little knickknacks here and there it's going to be a very simple mellow down kind of relaxation kind of video right so grab your coffee make sure you put it on pause first grab your coffee grab your tea grab whatever you want to drink and sit down with me and let's just kind of put these little adorable animals together all right so what I want to finish doing is adding googly eyes to the little fish that I have here. What I did is I, very simple and quick, I colored my little fish with this um, acrylic paint that I got at Michael's. The color is called Pale Blue, and I'll link everything at the bottom of this video. I'll try to give you as much information as I can. Um, but you can obviously use any blue um, acrylic paint that you have. And I just very simple and very lightly pass over the blue paint to the little fish. This one is already done. And we're going to add the googly eyes on these right here. And then we are done with the fish. All right. Very simple. It's a very simple project, but... I thought that it would be nice for you guys to kind of see me do it and have your coffee or your tea while you watch me do this because I got to be honest with you, the next few videos that we're going to be doing together is going to be a little bit challenging. I know, right? I can't believe I'm saying that. Because I always say, all my videos are super easy, super simple. But we're going to challenge ourselves with painting, right? Um, we're going to be do a, we're gonna be doing a lot of painting, a lot of like artwork ourselves. So it's going to be a little bit challenging, but I think we can all do it. Trust me. If I was able to do it, you guys can do it. Believe me. All right, so here's the little fishies all done. I just glued in the googly eyes. That's really all I did. In a later video, we're going to be using these to hold some banners that we're going to be making. All right? I just wanted to have those ready so that we don't have to do so many steps. So let's work with the seahorse. The seahorse is the one from Shore Living. So is the fish, by the way. And this, this particular little pins have three seahorses that are like natural color. And you got three seahorses that are like this teal color. So what I did is I had a few of them and I took out all the teal and I'm trying to work with those, okay? So the very first thing we're going to do is again, apply some googly eyes to the seahorse. You guys know me with my googly eyes, right? I am in love with googly eyes. If I could put googly eyes on anything, I would literally do it. And I'm not ashamed to say it. I like googly eyes. All right, so the seahorse has their googly eyes on. See that? This side over here is already complete. I already added the googly eyes and I did the little bow. So I'm gonna add the little bow on these and then we're done. So the bow that I made for the little seahorse is these um, cotton twine that I got at the Dollar Tree. These are really excellent to make um, really simple little bows. I, I tried to make them with this one, which is also twine that I also got at the Dollar Tree, but this twine is very, um, like thick and kind of hard to work with. This is the best one. So I already made my little bows over here in advance, as you can see there. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue them down 
to my seahorse. Right by the neck area, right there. All right. And, that's, and I was thinking also that you can add maybe like a little rhinestone or like a little button to the middle of the seahorse. Um, you know, I have, a, let me check and see. Let me first finish this. And then I'm gonna check because now that I said buttons, I just got like a little stack of buttons at the thrift shop that I found and I was so excited to find these buttons because they're tiny. I love finding tiny buttons because you can always use them in different embellishments, right? All right, so this is already done. As you can see there, the seahorses are done, complete, ready to go. Again, we're gonna be using this for an upcoming project that we are going to also do together. All right, so this is the before. And this is the after. Very simple, but cute, right? All right, we're gonna put this on the side. But before I put this on the side, let me check really quick. I just got like a really, I'm not gonna lie, like a last minute idea. <laughs> I wasn't thinking of doing this, but as I was talking to you guys about buttons, I remembered. Let's see, see, I got these buttons. Let me show you. I got these buttons while I was thrift shopping. And I was so excited. Look at these buttons, how gorgeous they are. You see that? They're so tiny. Look at these. And they're kind of like, they have like that, like mother, mother of pearl kind of look to them. I don't think that they are, but they do have that kind of like um, sparkly look to them. And I bought a whole bunch guys, because when I saw these, I just grabbed all of them. Look at this pink one, how gorgeous. I grabbed all of them. I didn't even like think about which one. I, I just grabbed them all. Okay, I grabbed them all. You guys know me. These are a little bit more bigger. And then you got these. So I thought I had blue, but it doesn't look like I do. This is the closest blue that we can use. Um, but I think we're going to pass, yeah? I'm not really crazy about these buttons for my seahorse anyway. Okay, we'll pass on the buttons. But that's okay because I do like the way they look, right? All right, that's done. The last thing we're going to do is the starfish. Yes. Um, I prepared these starfish and all I did was I added a little bling in the middle that's all I did okay so we're going to do the same thing with these you got to be very careful in removing the starfish from the little clippy because um, I have destroyed a few of these doing that but with um with very easy and soft hands, you can you can do it. As you can see there, it's not really that hard. I'll be honest with you, the sailboat, the very first video that we did together, which is the sailboat, that was very difficult. That was very, very difficult to pull out of these little clippies. I destroyed so many sailboats because they were like really glued on really well. I would love to know what glue they use. Probably wood glue because that glue was amazing. Amazing. All right, that's good. That came out good. And then the last one See that? Perfect. So what we're going to do with the seat with the starfish is we're going to add just a little bling in the center of the star. 
let me find my little bling container I have this container that is full of little blings gifted from my amazing gorgeous mother who is also very crafty <laughs> what does it say the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree guilty okay so I'm going to add some of these little blingies to the star and I'm just gonna go really um sporadically right is that what it's called sporadically I'm not gonna like be picky about it I, I do want different colors obviously right yeah let's see here some of these are really big and some of these are like really small so I think I want to use the smaller one not so much this big one more like that size That red, oh, that red looks nice. Let's find another red. Let's see here. Hmm. No more red. We got a gigantic red. See the difference between that one and that one? How big it is? All right. Let me see if I find another red because I really do like that red. Oh, there it is. Here's one. This one red. Um, it's another pink one. And we need one more here, which probably will be a hot pink if we find it. Okay, we'll do the red. There you go. See that? That looks pretty. All right. So. We're going to hot glue the little blings in the center of the star fish. And I think we're done, guys. Wait, I need to drink my coffee first. Let me have a sip of my coffee. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Hot glue the little blingies to the center of the starfish and we'll have our starfish already decorated for our upcoming project which I am so excited to show you guys I worked literally not even that hard on that project and it looked like it took me years to complete okay so you guys are going to be super excited when you see what we're going to add um, the starfish to. And guess what? You are going to make it yourselves, okay? Which is the best part about that um, project that we're going to be doing together. It's gonna be your own little artwork that you are going to create yourself. So if you guys think that you cannot paint, I'm going to I'm going to um, change your mind so that's gonna be in a few days <gasps> oops oh no oh no oh no oh no okay hold on all right let's try this again We got one more to do. Well, this one and then that one. And then we're done with the star fish little project. Okay. And that's it. I told you it was going to be a simple, easy, quick video. I mean, not so quick, but right? because it's like, what, 13 minutes, 14 minutes. Not really that quick. But I just wanted to a very simple video for you guys you see how these turned out they're so pretty i have to go back later and clean clean them remove these like glue strings from them but anyway at least you have an idea what they look like yes see that 
They look so pretty and sparkly. All right, my loves. So that's it. We did the starfish. We did the seahorse. Yeah. Which are super cute. And we did our little fish, which are really simple. Okay. And super cute. All right. And that's it. So, very simple, easy project. But this is going to save us a lot of time for our next few projects that we're going to do together. And I think that you guys are going to have so much fun trying to um, uh, creating this project with me. I think you're going to enjoy um, the next few um, videos that I have for you coming up. Okay, my loves? Thank you so much for sitting down with me and having coffee. I hope that you enjoy, or tea. I hope that you enjoy this video. Um, make sure you guys thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. By the way, I want to thank every single one of you for subscribing to my channel. I'm so excited that I have a really good family that's following me. And I'm really happy to bring a lot of um, ideas and, you know, joy to you guys. And I hope that I continue to do that. So thank you so much. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, honey bunnies.